people are so blind to thinking that Titans just means order. It's order through any means necessary. It doesn't matter if it's the Burning Legion. It doesn't matter if it's the Scourge. It doesn't matter if it's giant stone constructs. It's all the same shit. Big crystals, Naru and Void, fucking woo. Slap a new paint job on it. Fucking call it a different threat. What's the truth though? It's still the fucking Titans. You guys should be very afraid of them. They have captured f the conduit of creation and free will itself and are trying to control it. You should be afraid of them. There's a reason why World of Warcraft has kind of blinded people to trust and follow the Titans over the years. Even though, if you read the small details and read all the lore in the game since vanilla, they've been hinting that the Titans are really sketchy for a long time. I guess we just conveniently forget Algalon. You know? We just conveniently forget that whole thing. Guess we conveniently forget how they install giant machines in the planet that wipe out all life if it succumbs to chaos. Uldir is like the smoking gun of by all means necessary. And even further than that, look at Zoval in the fucking Primus. Look at look at Zareth Mortis. They people are I don't see how people miss this. The Titans architected a grand reordering of the cosmos through the power of death. The same power that Argus was imbued with and the same color scheme used to make up their constellaresque forms, which were more than likely shaped and provided to them by Norganon, who has the most visual and clear links to death, frost, control, order, and domination than any of them do. I think people really missed what Shadowlands was trying to say. Shadowlands is a st what made them stop? Oh, you think they stopped? That's very cute. You think they stopped? <laughs> They've never stopped. They've never stopped. Sargeras was part of their manipulation tactics. They will never stop. They will never relent. And so neither was, must we. Ever. Why do you think the Titans didn't show up to help us stop Zoval. Anyone? They're lazy. They're busy. Too tired. Titan nap. They didn't need to. If they stopped, then... Why are they coming back in the last Titan? We're gonna break the manifold. They didn't want to. Hmm. They thought Zoval wasn't a threat? Why didn't they help Zoval? Why didn't they help Zoval? Why didn't they help Zoval? Drawn to observe the fateful events unfolding within the sepulchre of the First Ones, Rigelon succumbed to the Jailer's domination. Now this Constellar turns its cosmic power against any who would oppose the Banished One. Zalatath says... It was thought his kind was incorruptible. A lesson for my brothers, I suppose. She's talking about Harboron. Harboron, who is a Constellar. When the Titans appear on the seat of the Pantheon, do you think they do so in a Constellar form by accident? No. They are bound to this form. You've seen their form already. You were right not to trust them. Because they can be corrupted. Drawn to observe the fateful events unfolding within the sepulchre. How the fuck did he get there? Well, I'll tell you how. Because they're interdimensional beings. Interdimensional manica. 
Devastated World Shard, a bleak reminder to worlds unworthy. Grim Eclipse, handguards of hidden realms. He has access to a place he shouldn't. But more compelling than any of that is his lines. You are known to me, champions of Azeroth. Your deeds have unbalanced the harmony of the cosmos. For reality to endure, it must be remade. But you are nothing more than aberrations to be discarded. Do you see? It's them. It's them. Zoval is them. It's them doing it. It's their plot, guys. Through death will come order. It's them. The Zoval plot, the Primus, the ordering of the Shadowlands is the Titans. It's their order. Capital O, order. It's all ordered. All of it. There is no realm in which you can hide. My reach extends to all planes. Existence will be reordered. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Zoval is a pawn. Zoval recognized that they were going to order everything and said a cosmos divided won't survive. It won't survive. But then what happened? The Primus chained him and he forced him to do it. He said, fine, if you won't do it willingly, you will be made to serve, period. That's what it is. Zoval's literally a pawn. All the guy ever did was point out the fact that based on what he saw in the mortal's memory, something didn't seem quite right. And he brought it to his brothers and sisters, whatever. So what I'm trying to express is that he didn't know Zoval was the guy who got turned into a patsy. Who got turned into the one that we blame it all on when it was clearly the fucking Primus. Clearly. You look at Rigelon, Algalon, Harboron, Elagon, Norganon. Why do all the Titans take a Constellar form? Why? Because they're all bound by order in the same way way. The Titans, we call them the Titans. But that's not really the truth, is it? It's the Titan pantheon, and there are those among it who don't agree with what the others are saying and doing. They are seemingly united in purpose. How are they united? Through the power of order and domination. That's how. They're forced into a pantheon. Don't you guys see? They're, they've been reordered. They look this way. All the blue runes, the Argus stuff, he's ordered as fuck too. All of them, Norganon, Harboron, Algalon, Elagon, this guy in the Sepulchre of the First Ones, the Jailer, the Primus. It's all the same thing. So what does this really mean? It means that, that some members of the Pantheon have probably been ordered, manipulated, and otherwise mind-controlled to do and behave certain ways to do certain things to control the fucking cosmos. That's the whole point. It's the whole point. It's why I draw the connections between Sargeras being dominated in the seat of the Pantheon. It's why I pull this up every single stream. Because this mechanism on the seat of the Pantheon is the same mechanism in his sword. And it always has been. It always has been. The seat is the Morn Blade mechanism. It is. That's the point. Seven seats, one in the middle, a beam to control the being that you want to do the to do the thing. It's literally this. It's them. You think the Primus can't listen? The Primus as a master smith may have used domination runes to incorporate order into weapons, okay? But is he truly the original creator of Mornblades? That's a great question. 
Because if he is, then how Sargeras got his is a fucking problem. And again, when we look at the 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 art of the Pantheon for the Titans, the first art ever made for them, who's the one holding the, the mechanism through which the sword is more than likely controlled? It's fucking Norganon. It's him. Would you say the real mission of the Burning Legion is to destroy the ordering of the Titan Pantheon? No, they're led by the Titan Pantheon. No, the Burning Legion's ordered. The Burning Legion's ordered. If it's not led by Eonar, it's led by the others. It's led by Amonthul and Norganon. It's a fucking orderly legion of death who goes around exterminating mortals. Why is that even a hard thing to connect to the Titans? It's all just different methods of accomplishing the same thing. Do you guys want to end up like Koresh? Then if not, then we better chill the fuck out. Because that's what's coming. One method after another. Send the old gods. Send the burning legion. Send the fucking, send Sargeras, send this, send that. Oh, our world's going to end up like Koresh a little bit, but not fully. The fact that that hilt of the sword's the same as the seat of the Pantheon and beam is the blade, exactly. The Burning Legion was originally created by the Titans. Sargeras is alleged to be one of them. And then when it was no longer needed, the Titans ordered Sargeras to destroy it. When Sargeras learned the truth, he decided to utilize it as his own weapon. But here's the problem. Even though Sargeras knows the truth, he might be just as susceptible to domination as some of us. And that's what's so fucking scary. The thing is, is that what I hope dearly is that he was able to resist a little bit here. But what I'm concerned about is that Sargeras has been manipulated to do this act so many fucking times that this might be all he knows. Imagine being ordered by your brother and sister to be bound to a form where you can no longer recount your memories and all you can do is relive and commit the same unspeakable atrocity time and time and time again. What an existence that would be. What an existence that would be. Let loose the monster when you need him and then blame it all on him so that no one suspects you. Fuckers, dude. These fuckers.